Has your orchid gone from fabulous to funky just merely in the time that it took to finish flowering? This orchid was looking spectacular with all these amazing blooms and then it's just suddenly started going backwards. So let's delve into it, open it out, see what's going wrong and let's learn together. And welcome to The Nature Company. If this is the kind of information you're interested, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of all our upcoming videos so you don't miss out on a thing. So let's get straight to it and we'll show you what's happening with this orchid and we'll dissect it carefully and find out what's going wrong. Okay, so before we start removing it from its pot, we're just going to inspect it. Ah, uh, we see. Some aphids in there, some white markings with brown in the middle, we see some funky looking pseudobulbs, some leaves that are just coming loose, a lot of black marks and yellowing. and generally a plant that's not in very good health. But as I said, it had just been flowering beautifully. It was looking brilliant, nice and healthy. And in the matter of basically four to six weeks, it's just looking like it's about to die. So let's get deeper into it. These marks, these are generally from sunburn, so that's nothing to be particularly worried about. Obviously the sun had been peeking through the window when we weren't noticing and burnt those leaves. So most of the sunburn is all from much the same angle. So we know that's definitely from the, the sun bleaching it. So that's not too much of a worry looking at these yellowed and blackened leaves we're gonna have to go in for a little deeper exploration into the plant itself to decide what's the problem there and these sickly yellow soft pseudobulbs we're gonna open those out and see what's wrong so let's go to the dissection and always remember when dealing with an orchid like this, especially when you're not sure what's wrong, keep sanitized your hands, your equipment, because if there is bacteria or fungus in here, we don't want to spread it anywhere else. So keep your sanitizer on hand to make sure everything's kept clean and safe. So now we're just going to have a look in underneath. We can see it's not looking very good at all. So let's take it out the pot and see what. Uh, there we go. There's one thing you can see immediately. Such a big plot coming out so easily with so little root volume. We know there's a problem immediately. So A little bit of overfeeding and no flushing with the looks of that. The bark looks still in good need. Nick, slightly damp but not wet. So let's just open this out carefully. Although not rotten, the velamen is completely pulpy. So that's actually doing nothing for the plant whatsoever. So all these roots are dead. So we just open it out in time to catch it before they start to rot. There we go, there's 
one or two roots this that's done one or two roots on this side that still are okay but the rest are finished those pseudo bulbs there so we want to get in and remove all of this dead stuff that looks like it could be the beginning of black rot We ask ourselves, how can this happen so quickly? From flowering outside beautifully, bringing it in to enjoy the flowers, and then going backwards so quickly. Underneath all the debris, the plant's still looking okay, but we've got to get in to see what's wrong with these pseudobulbs here. So, We'll just set this up so we can do our dissections. So now with all this happening through the center, it looks like we're going to have to divide open this orchid. Keep everything clean. Gonna go in and see where the Bad pseudobulbs are linked. There we go. A nice clean cut. Spraying again. Right at the join. There we go. We don't have any roots but don't worry as the new shoot appears so new roots will be forced out the pseudobulbs are still nice and plump so that should work i want to make sure i remove all of these parts that look like they a bit funky See how little space the orchid had left itself to grow. Okay, so it looks like we've removed most of the, the gummy parts now. We have a little bit left in this section so let's just make sure we remove that yeah lucky we did see it's all the way down to the base it's pulled out this see it's gone all the way through down that one as well to the bulb two nothing a little bit of treatment won't fix there everything else seems to be safe so what it looks like actually happened with this orchid it looks like it was probably a calcium and magnesium deficiency that started causing the, causing the, the black and, and yellowing in the plant. And as the new growths weren't able to be formed and continue growing with all the flowers taking up the energy, the rot set in easily. So also probably the change of the climate from the outdoors where it was growing beautifully to the indoors for a month where air movement wasn't so good allowed that fungus really to set in quickly so it looks like we're going to get this under control now we'll just give it a quick treatment we'll clear off 
all of this old material around it and give it a good fungicide treatment. We'll spray it down with a bit of hydrogen peroxide just to ensure that any bacteria that might have been in here as well are as dead as what our orchid would have been. So we got in here just in time. So if your orchid goes from hero to zero in the blink of an eye, these are a few of the things that you should look at to understand why it possibly happened and get to it sooner rather than later. That way you can make sure you save your plants. The climate change can often be a big factor causing this when you're moving it from outdoors to indoors to enjoy the flowering. A lot of orchids don't particularly like being moved around terribly frequently and if at all possible, leave it rather where it's flowering well and let it carry on doing its business. So if you need to know how we're going to go about treating these orchids, we'll put a link in below for our fungicide treatment and another link for the peroxide treatment and we've also got plenty of repotting videos that you can go watch there. This is just a quick look-see to see what happened and how we're going to fix it. The calcium magnesium video is on its way so don't worry there and thank goodness I did this today and didn't leave it for another week. We would have been in disaster mode then. So thank you for watching and if you find any of this information helpful please hit that like button, subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. Bing bong to be notified of all our upcoming videos. Help us grow as we help your orchids grow. Happy growing!